In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Explain Everything on an iPad to do a lecture capture. So I have Explain Everything installed on my iPad. I'm going to click it to open it. In the upper left corner, there's a plus sign with a page. If I click that, it opens up to various accounts that I could sync with Explain Everything. For example, my camera roll, Dropbox, Evernote, Drive, and Box. For this example, I've synced it with my Dropbox account. I've created a presentation in Keynote and saved it as a PDF to my Dropbox account here in this folder. And what I'm going to do is import that PDF and show you how you could lecture capture on top of this. So this presentation right down here is a PDF. If I click on it, it will then display my PDF. It is a multi-page PDF, uh, 17 slides. If I click Choose in the upper right corner, it imports my PDF. What's really great about this is it's breaking my PDF into slides in Explain Everything. So I believe there was 17 slides in here. In the bottom left corner of Explain Everything, there is, you can see my slides have imported. Um, I can reshape my slides any way I want. I'm just going to click to the next page and you can see it did a really good job of breaking up my slides exactly how they were when I created them in Keynote. Um, again, I saved as a PDF because I see that works better uh, when you break up your slides. So I'm going to go back to my uh, first page here. You can click on this button down here and reorder your slides on the fly if you wanted to put them in a different order. I'm just going to leave them how they are. And what you're going to need to do your lecture capture is just this tool right here, um, this red button where you can record. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that. So now I'm recording everything I'm doing on this slide. I can grab the pencil tool, um, I can draw some annotations, do whatever I need to do, sort of highlight something or, or pull it out. Um, so I'm capturing my voice on top of this uh, lecture slide. When I want to go to the next slide, I click the arrow right down here and now it takes me to slide two again notice that it is recording my voice right down here you can see that the clicker is going it is recording now everything on it's happening on top of this lecture again annotations what have you um, one thing I would do as you're going through your presentation is to pause when you hit the arrow button because when you hit hit the arrow you're transitioning to the next slide the way explain everything works it's capturing everything that you're recording on that individual slide so if you don't pause there may be a skip uh, where that transition is happening so what I would suggest is when you go to the next slide click the arrow but as you're clicking the arrow pause and then there won't be sort of a break inside of your recording when your lecture is over, all you need to do is click the pause button. And then right over here, this tool right down here in the bottom right corner, it's a little film strip with an up arrow. If you click that, this is how you can export your lecture that you just recorded as an MP4, either right to YouTube right to your iPad or which is really cool which I really like again maybe right back to your Dropbox or Box account. Um, when I click this tool you'll see I'm right in my Dropbox down here I'm in the same folder where I pulled in that that presentation if I if I do all slides up here in the upper right that will capture and put into a, a very nice video format everything I did inside the presentation I could also choose individual slides but in this example I want to capture the whole thing I just click the export button in the upper right hand corner I then give it a title press OK and now it will compress my video into an mp4 uh, that I can then upload to say iTunes U to distribute to my students as a lecture capture. This is extremely powerful. Uh, one thing I'll say is you can see there's estimated time there. It keeps going up. Uh, it is compressing my video. Um, you can change the settings so that it is not say as high quality so the file won't be as big. Also a tip with that would be to 
not record say a 90 minute lecture all at once in one giant file but to break it up into maybe 15 to 20 minute segments that will make it a little bit easier um, also I'm just going to cancel out here if you don't you're not going to probably want to stand around at the end of class or at the end of your lecture hall um, and upload this in class so you can save it give it a title here click save and it will save the project back to your home page and then you can export when you get back to your office to save you time and to do that you can click right back into it click the camera tool or the video tool tell it where I want it to save and click export so I find this an extremely powerful way to present and teach off of the iPad and record everything you're doing so that you can upload it later to iTunes U and your students can watch it over and over again. Um, again, thank you for watching this and this was just a short tutorial on how to use Explain Everything as a lecture capture tool. Thank you.